Hello everybody, welcome back to another movie review vlog, and I just got back from watching Captain Marvel, and to be honest with you, it was kinda lame. I mean, I have nothing against this, I know there was a lot of controversy behind this, whether or not maybe, whether it be the politics, as well as the uh, movie bombs, another movie starring a woman, or the fact that they say that Brie Larson just hates men, that's why people are not liking it, or not going to go see it, but to be honest with you, there's a lot worse comic book movies out there, but... <laughs> This wasn't really a very well received one, in my opinion, or a very good one, despite all the box office records that this movie is actually pulling off. Now, to be honest with you, I really don't know, I know very little when it comes to the Captain Marvel character. I mostly just, in the comic books, I'm familiar with her, mostly as a B-list level type of Avenger, who on occasions tends to mix it up with the X-Men, and also her most significant role being that she lost her, she went to a comatose state after Rogue absorbed her powers, which is why for the longest time she was a, Rogue was able to fly and have super strength. But other than that, I know there was like a huge push for her over the last eight years or so in the comics, mostly just to get her into the movies, because Scarlett Johansson didn't want to do a Black Widow movie. So we got Captain Marvel instead. Yay! I mean, if you ask me, it's better just to separate art from the artist. And with that said, I just want to say that Brie Larson was not really good in this movie. I mean, throughout the entire flick, even when I saw the movie trailers before I went to see the movie itself, she was very unenthusiastic, not really into her role except for the action scenes. I think it must be something to do with the writing than anything else. But to be honest with you, with what they showed throughout this movie, she comes off as a really lame and uninteresting character. Even from the movie trailers, it was pretty obvious how vacant and uncharismatic Brie Larson really is and how much she doesn't really care about being in this movie other than pretty much playing the role as a character and making a quick paycheck. She's less of a character and to be honest with you, she's like a really blank slate. She's practically nothing. Her character was really uninteresting and nobody, it was very hard to actually give a rat's ass as to what she was actually doing throughout this entire movie. I mean, if you have a movie where the main character is not doing a very good role as the character itself, well, then that's not very good at all. There are jokes in here throughout the entire movie that were so painfully obvious that it was quite infuriating and really lackluster, if you ask me. Now, I will say that not everything in here I didn't like. I mean, there were some aspects in here that I did do like. Like, the, I mean, there were production designs that did pretty well recreating the 90s. I mean, I felt like the story that took place in the 90s felt a bit more interesting. I feel like the environment, when they did more of a grounded aspect of the 90s scenes, it felt more real, unlike the actual CG move scenes in outer space, where it felt more like green screen land. The special effects were about as corny as Thor the Dark World. I mean, don't get me wrong, but the first 10 or 20 minutes of this movie felt like something straight out of a crappy, straight to sci-fi TV series. However, the makeup and CG that they did on Sam Jackson made him look a lot younger was actually quite convincing if you ask me. However, there were some scenes throughout the movie in here where they could have easily used a stunt double for him, but you can kind of tell that he was just pretty much portraying himself as a 70 year old man rather than a younger version. However, they did pull that off really well throughout this movie. I did enjoy Sam Jackson's performance in here, and he did a very good job throughout this entire movie. But unfortunately, there were a lot of other actors that were in here that were not so great. Namely, the child actor, and the mom in here wasn't that great either. The writing in here was pretty bland and pretty straightforward, which I really didn't like. I mean, there was a scene in here. The movie doesn't do a very good job displaying the seriousness and overall characteristics of the character, which kind of makes this a bit of a letdown, if you ask me. I mean, there were a lot of scenes in here which could have been genuine, but to be honest with you, it just felt really, really forced. Leave it to Disney to make a movie like this where it just leaves off as a caricature of a story and not actually the real deal and nothing more fluent if you ask me and I was even more dis and the only reason I went to see this movie to begin with was mostly because of the Avengers tie-in which if you had, it was the last movie before uh, Avengers Endgame mostly because of the end credits scene but even then the end credits were a bit of a letdown as well <sighs> and Pretty much uh, with that, the music wasn't that good either, and as well as a lot of the supporting characters were also pretty lame. And uh, with that said, I will have to give this movie a 2 out of 4 stars. And uh, if you guys have any objections with uh, what I have to say about this movie, feel free to let me know in the comment section below so I, we can have a very nice, healthy discussion about that. If you guys have any uh, other requests or reviews for me to uh, take a look at in the near future, feel free to let me know. 
uh, over on my Patreon for the uh, low, low price of $1 a month. And uh, with that said, thank you all for watching, and next time around I will be primed and ready to go, ready to go for the next review for Avengers Endgame. And with that said, I will see you all next time.